Hiya, and welcome to the James Oliver Guitar Channel. This is part 28 of vinyl albums, bands and albums that inspire me. So I've shown nearly 600 records now and we're still going. This is choice number one. This is the Kinks' first album. Self-titled on Pi. This is going, you really got me on it. I'm a loving other fighter. Really good album, this. Too Much Monkey Business. Cadillac. Bald-headed woman. It's a great R&B, raw R&B record. Dave Davis and Ray Davis, the Kinks. And of course it's on the uh, Pi International label. The world famous Pi International label. So that's choice number one. The Kinks self-titled first album. From, I'm not sure what year it's from. It's obviously from the early 60s. So here we are. Up next. JJ Kale. Okay, okay. Love J.J. Kale's groove and his feel, you know. Songs on there like Crying, Rock and Roll Records, the world famous Cajun Moon. I got the same old blues. Of course, Captain Beefheart covered that one on his Blue Jeans and Moonbeams album. Here's the back. So there we are, a bit of J.J. Kale. Up next, the greatest Welsh band ever, in my opinion, the Man Band. And this is live at the uh, pageant rooms in Panarf. Deke, Martin, Mickey Jones and Terry Williams. Many a cold a few get up. Deke's daughter of the fireplace and side two is a hate Samuel jam. Real good progressive rock blues jam in there. Signed by Deke too. So here we are. And that's on the United Artists label. That's choice number three. Definitely worth checking that out if you're into your progressive rock. Up next, a superb live album. Dr. Feelgood with Stupidity. Of course, this is the classic lineup, the big figure. Wilco, Lee Brillo and John B. Sparks. Talking about you, 20 bar yards behind all through the city. Walking the dog, she does it right. Rock said, I'm a hog for you, baby, back in the night. This is a rocking record, this is. Definitely worth checking this out on CD or LP. The feel goods with stupidity. Mixed bag again today, as it always is. This is... Uh, Roger Waters with the pros and cons of it. Like, you know, a big fan of Pink Floyd and Roger Waters. And uh, this is a great record. Absolutely brilliant record. It's on the Harvest label and there's some cracking tracks on you. And uh, I can't remember what the track listing is, so I'm going to read it off you. My favourites. Running Shoes. You know, it's more of a concept album, really, the the uh, pros and cons of hitchhiking. I also love A Moose to Death, but I haven't got A Moose to Death on vinyl only CD, so I thought I'd show this. So there we are, there's Roger Waters. Bit of Bob Dylan next, this is the uh, sort of the country album that he made, along with Nashville Skyline as well. This is John Wesley Arden, John Wesley Arden is on this, the ballad of Frankie Lee and Judas Priest, Drifters Escape. I'm a lonesome obo. Is on this. I'll be your baby tonight. Show not to Dylan, and why not show, show a few more with John Wesley Arden? Bit of a compilation next. This is the Dwayne Allman anthology. Of course, Dwayne is a killer guitar player from the Allman Brothers band. But there's some lovely stuff on this. Is a BB King medley. Sweet Little Angel. It's my own fault. How blue can you get? It's a great version of the bands. The weight on you. Layla's on yeah, the Allman Brothers version of Stage for Blues, Little Martha, a cracking version of Hey Jude. There's also a Greg Allman one of these worth checking out, but this Dwayne Allman one is my personal favourite. Ray Kuda, Into the Purple Valley. This, of course, has got Billy the Kid on it and Vigilante Man. You can see him on the whistle test playing the mandolin and the slide on them two tracks. Johnny Cash's Hey Porter is on this. Johnny Cash is on a Monday is on this. Teardrops will fall. How can you keep on moving? Dry Cooder and his wife there on the back and the front. And that's Into the Purple Valley on the Reprise label. I picked up a couple of compilations today. I don't know why. This is the London R&B Sessions. One of my favourite records. You've got Lou Lewis on you. You've got Red Beans and Rice, of course. You know, the Welsh, Tommy Riley, Wilco Johnson. The Pirates are on you. The Blues Band. 
Real, real good compilation. Of course, Lou Lewis is the harmonica player. He's doing You Better Watch Yourself. Red Beans and Rice are doing Finger in My Eye. Wilco Johnson is doing The Whammy. Pirates are doing Tear It Up. Pack It Up at the Cap, Red Beans and Rice. Pirates are doing All In It Together. Long Cut, Play Loud. If you see this, you know, it's not expensive. Pick it up because it's great R&B. British R&B from the 70s. This is Johnny Cash album on Sun. Now here's Johnny Cash. Cry, Cry, Cry is on this. Hey, Porter. Story of a Broken Heart. And it's actually signed as well by Johnny Cash, which I think is quite cool if you're into all that, you know, the collecting side of the music. So for me, it's all about the music, but I do like stuff like this as well. And it's on Sun. And anything Johnny Cash, anything Sun, I just love. I mean, my main telecast has got the Sun sticking on it, as you can see. And I actually copped that off Bob Wooten, Johnny Cash's second guitar player after Luther Perkins had a Sun sticker on his... Uh, Telecaster when I seen him live. So here we are, Johnny Cash. Now here's Johnny Cash. Captain Beefheart. This is the uh, Ice Cream for Crow album, of course, features the track Ice Cream for Crow. Gary Lucas is uh, Masterpiece Evening Bell. Is on there, Scanned and Makes Good. Hey Garland, I dig your tweet court. Beefheart's last album. And I love that Ice Cream for Crow video when they're all in the desert, jumping up and down. And there's a mellow bar on that video too. Morris Tepper, Jeff Tepper, is uh, playing the mellow bar. This is on the uh, Virgin label. And this Captain Beefheart, one of my all-time favourites. I've spoken about him many times on the channel. And there's even a video on the channel of um, me going through every one of his albums chronologically. Another compilation. What's going on? This is uh, 0222, which is a compilation... Of Cardiff bands. So now yeah, you've got Snatch It Back with Sugar Daddy Boogie. Red or Pro Poker, Strolling the Bones. The Watermelons, which of course is Paul Rosser. All in the Game, The Owl and Sleepers. Geraint Jarman is on you. The Madassa Soul Band, I Can't Turn You Loose. The Vipers, which is of course Graham Williams and Di Watkins and co. With When It's All Gone. It's a real cool album. And this, to me, is a piece of Welsh music history as well. And I believe that 0222 was the Cardiff, a was the Cardiff area code before you become 02920. So there we are, there's useless facts for you. Stevie Ray Vaughan, this is Stevie Ray Vaughan live. Some good stuff on this. Say What, Pride and Joy, Mary, Little Lamb, Superstition, Woody the Pimp, Cold Shot, Texas Flag, Voodoo Child, Love Struck Baby. Reese on the keyboards, Tommy Shannon on the bass. Brilliant, Stevie Ray Vaughan. Playing the cream strap there, like a Norris battered uh, 5961. I'm actually going to show an Eric Clapton album next. This is the Eric Clapton album, Me and Mr. Johnson. This is Eric's take on um, Robert Johnson tracks. Killer band on you, Doyle Bramhall is on lead, oh, well, on lead guitar with Eric. When you've got a good friend, Little Queen of Spades, they Red Hot, Me and the Devil Blues, Traveling Riverside Blues, Last Feel Deal Going Down, Stop Breaking Down, Milk Calf Blue, Milk Cows Calf Blues, Kind Hearted Woman, Come On In My Kitchen, If I Have Possession of a Judgment Day, Love In Vain, 3220 Blues, and Hell and On My Trail. There's a really cool mini documentary about this record that, that uh, used, used to be on YouTube. I don't know if it's on YouTube anymore, but try and seek that out. Have a listen to it. It's a really good record, and I really like Eric Clapton's interpretations of the. Uh, Robert Johnson standards, they're all blues standards now. I mean, how can you write 30 odd songs and like they're all blues standards? It's amazing, really. Bit of uh, sort of country stuff now. This is Jerry Jeff Walker's self titled album. Jerry Jeff Walker, there's some good stuff on this. Sky Clark's LA Freeway. That old beat up guitar, Hill Country Rain. Here he is, but this is quite a funny one. Jerry Jeff sadly passed away recently, but I thought I'd show this record. So this is Jerry Jeff Walker. Now something completely different. This is Mott the Hoople. It was Mott. Hereford Band, of course. All the way from Memphis is on this. Honolucci Boogie. Driving Sister. I'm a Cadillac. Ian Hunter, of course. Mick Ralph's on guitar. I don't know if Vernon Allen's on this one. He could be. 
But anyway, yes, Mott. I really like Mott. I mean, all the young dudes is a classic, isn't it? And the earlier stuff, the, the uh, album on Ireland with the, the lizard on the cover, they do a really cool version of The Kinks You Really Got Me. I try and tie all these up, believe it or not, into one thing. So that's Mott the Uple with Mott. And now from the Mott the Uple to something completely different, this is Howling Wolf with Big City Blues. Howling Wolf, Chester Burnett, who was something on guitar. Riding in the Moonlight, worried about my baby. House Rockin' Boogie, Dog Me Around. Backslide Boogie, some lesser known stuff on here, but still some killer cuts on this album. And there's a cover of the Blues Man and the K guitar there, as you can see. And I mean, you, you've got to show as much Chester Burnett as you can. Because to me, it doesn't get much better than that. So there's Owlin Wolf. Neil Young, Silver and Gold. This is from his 2000s period. Nice acoustic album, Red Sun, Distant Camera, Razor Love. Silver and Gold, Daddy Went Walking, Buffalo Springfield again, The Great Divide, a lovely mellow acoustic album by Neil, some beautiful songs on it, produced by Neil Young and Ben Keith, of course Ben Keith is Neil Young's long time pedal steel player, and that's Silver and Gold, lovely record. We show Beef Art, now here's Zappa with Hot Rats, and of course Beef Art is on Hot Rats, as you know, Peterson Regalia, Willie the Pimp. It must be a Carmel, great record this is. Classic Zappa, and for the record collectors, because I know some of you are die art collectors, it's on the Free Colour Reprise label. First Press is a classic. Cool, cool cover too. My favourite track is, of course, on the album, Willie the Pimp. Because you've got Don Van Vliet, aka Captain b singing it. And we've got one more to show in this uh, edition, and that's 20 more records. This is West Bruce and Lang. Why don't you? Of course, Leslie West and Corky Lang from Mountain was uh, Jack Bruce on the bass. Why don't you? The Doctor. Shake, your, shake My Thing. Pollution Woman. Lovers Worth the Blues. Basically, it's like Mountain and Cream make an album together, is, is what this is. And it's a cracker. There's, there's a few West uh, Bruce and Lang ones to get. But this is my favourite. Of the, I think there's two or three. Is this one and either another one or another two, I believe. So that's West Bruce and Lang was why don't you? And there's my pick, as you can see. 20 albums, and uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you all again soon. Cheers.